it's very very important to beat man united to so, near where will city lose points then or are you saying they're not going to lose points they're not going to lose points wolves at home fulham away tottenham away and west ham at home don't do this and- to yourself do not do this to yourself they are not slipping any banana skins i need some hope i the need only, some hope. The only only one banana okay. skin is spurs and that is more of a in and you know the history there I mean, in between that's not a banana skin at all yeah, i think exactly. that's a... and what else do you have wolves at home like 3-0 minimum wolves at home and fulham away maybe i don't know i think the if they create is, chances the problem is I'll tell you what the problem is and what it's kind of good for us too. So we have Bournemouth and Everton. United. And by the time we reach Everton, they won't have anything to play for because they're already safe. Bournemouth have nothing to play for. They're safe. Man United have something small amount something to play for. Doesn't matter. Tot- I think with Man United it's it's us against us. If we can beat us, we'll beat them. <laughs> No, I mean Old Trafford. Do never discount Old Trafford. That's why that's why it's it's mostly Arsenal against Arsenal. Like we just We just need to play there properly. We'll win. Are, but wait, but it, what are your chain of thought on 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 United? Just one thing: Are they safe from Conference League? Are <laughs> do they want to end up in conference league i don't think anybody wants to end up in conference league yeah, yeah i mean at least for club of united states here right i don't know like if yeah. there is a reason why they want to play and then just get out of at least 6th or 7th or something just to kind of not end up in conference league they have something to play for but otherwise i think their season is done too so basically to nerf's point i think bonima everton and man united all their seasons are done like there is nothing to play for for them to be honest except the rivalry and hate and all that yeah. with united so nerf where will city lose points then or are you saying they're not going to lose points they're not going to lose points that's what I'm Saying. Oh my god nobody is optimistic man so it's going to be a four peat and we're all going to be depressed the only uh, part, yeah. wish, like Nottingham Forest today were good so i wish they had like a burnley or like um i don't know Everton maybe at Goodison would have been good. A Luton Town at Luton Town would have been good. You know, United Liverpool obviously would have been great, but that that's I mean that's wishful thinking. Chelsea also would have been fine, but I I don't know, man. Nothing gives me confidence except for Tottenham, and I know for a fact at that point in time Tottenham will have nothing to play for. So all we can do here, bro, is we win against Bournemouth. We beat Man United. It's very very important to beat Man United because the narrative will be insane. Man United, yeah. yeah. We need to control the narrative. Let's be let's accept the fact that we probably might not be able to win the league but at least we'll win some hearts that's what we want yeah. do right? not let <laughs> united that. fans have the last laugh saying that yeah. they can just stop both liverpool and no. there is there is no way united fans can have the last laugh even if they beat us they'll end up sticking with eric ten hag so this no at, this, at this part of them they're shameless they they nothing <laughs> they laugh at everything i'm telling you there is okay <laughs> it's 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 like you're you're already completely submerged anyway there is nothing for you to kind of think oh no we are already here no nothing they are just kind of laugh at the misery of other people at this point of time that is basically stopping liverpool from winning the league at from old trafford they already did that i'll rue that every day and if they stop if even though you're technically not in the title you're not done but if they stop you from if they beat you at old trafford again that's one more thing we stop both arsenal and liverpool at old trafford okay let's make yeah. a case for you right Controlling the narrative is important here because we had a really good season. Arsenal had a really good season. I would say even if City wins the league, Arsenal probably the best team in the 100%. league, yeah. defensively the best, offensively the best. But City just performed all through like the whole season. They yeah, just they got. They have a, a knack of the robotic knack of just getting points. They're a point winner team. It's like almost like computers. So, they have game changers though. Like they have clutch players who. So yeah. You just need one moment, and then they'll win the game. I mean, they'll score, and they'll do something, and then it'll all be, you know. The settled. narrative is going to be dirty around Arsenal this year. That Arteta, you know, even though so much is happening, so many things happened, but really nothing happened. They didn't win anything. Yeah. That's good. We have to control that, and the only way to control that is beating, winning our next three games. If we win to, our yeah. next three games and City win their next four games, it's simple. It's just that they are a great team. It's nothing bad about us. We're gonna finish two yeah. points behind. Last year we finished five points behind, and Liverpool have done the same. It's fine. Yeah. We call Klopp teams amazing. It's not like we yeah. call them bottlers. We never call the Klopp teams bottlers, right? Would you yeah. call the ninety-seven whatever the ninety-seven point team okay. bottlers? No, you wouldn't call any team bottlers. Klopp has always been a bottle job. <laughs> there is no, no way you're going to get any reaction from me for that statement. I am in that Zen mode right now with Klopp. No, I think for sure. Bait. You know, I mean, even I don't believe it. Even I don't believe it. I just said for no, like thing, you're dropping some feathers. Dude, we we know one thing for sure. Chelsea are not managed well. Like the ownership they have are still learning how to own a football club. Manchester United just got into a new good ownership, but they will take a lot of time to flush out whatever shit they already have in house. Man City have Pep Guardiola right. 
right now. But after winning this league as well, I don't know where their motivations lie. What what is going to happen next season? I feel like now finally there could be no motivation or less motivation. Pep Guardiola himself, we never know what he does next season. Uh, probably yeah. his last season as well. Liverpool transition, complete transition, and Tottenham will always Tottenham. So I know one thing for sure that next year, next to next year, at least the next three years, Arsenal are going to challenge at like a really, really strong, good level. We're going to buy again. The owners are going to give, put in more money. We're going to buy star players this time, not even like rare diamonds. We're going to buy straight up star players like Declan Rice. We're going to have a couple of those signings. Yeah. Like ready, go made, ready made fit in the squad. Ultimately, players. out of this Arteta era, what we need is we need one Premier League and one Champions League. That's all we need. <laughs> That's all. We need one, so we one need champ- two. We need, yeah. we need two of either no. one. We no. need two of either one. That's all we need. No, we need one Premier League. We have to win the Premier League and we have to win the Champions League. That's it. We win <laughs> both these competitions, even once, doesn't matter. It's successful, ultimately. Fair. I mean, it's still, Klopp, it's already yeah. successful, but if yes. If someone says Klopp's reign is not successful, they're just crying, ultimately. Yeah, right? Yeah. They're saying that like, okay, whatever. Like, he just won one Premier League, one Champions League, whatever. But he ended up celebrating every trophy that he, except for yeah. Europa League, he celebrated every trophy. That's it. That's what matters. It's successful, okay. nonetheless. They're winners. I think Arsenal have had good amount of luck this season, in general, with injuries and with the squad and everything. And I think if some of that luck plays into the next three, four games, maybe you'll have an outside chance of winning the league. I mean, you're not, just need to to drop points, right? I mean, just don't, just need they, one draw. They don't have to lose. Right? All we need is one draw. I think draw. we're not losing. Wait, the goal difference is good. Bro, we will make goal difference is through the roof. There's nobody catching okay, a goal difference. City got some of the difference back with, uh, with no, the City no, no, with no, no. the other it's three. What is match Chelsea? 5-0. I know, I know, but uh, okay, it's plus 7. Oh, yeah, plus 7 draw. is very hard to... Yeah, right now it's only like 5 look, games. Look, right? if we win the next 3 games, that's the only criteria that we might even have a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will probably get plus 3. Minimum plus 3 will Minimum get, plus right? 3, yeah. Okay. That will be 60 for us and they will need to, in the last 4 games, get plus 10. Possible, very possible. But, that's what uh, I'm saying. I don't think that's... we... I, no, I don't think we're gonna beat beat Bournemouth and Everton one nil. I think just by last one year, yeah, exactly. Yeah. By the way, last year Everton faced us on the last day after we bottled the league and they were already safe. Probably the same thing is gonna happen this year it's and we beat them five nil. We beat. Them. So I can I can see plus three. I can see plus six there for sure. In those two, United, I don't know. Maybe plus one. So I can see a plus six for Arsenal and mm-hmm. getting. 14 in 10 games in 4 games for City with Tottenham there I doubt it with the, also the pressure right of pressure of just if winning the game it, if they yeah and they're gonna draw one game that's the assumption we're taking right yeah right. Yeah, so that yeah. means that 3 so one three game games zero, they'll yeah. have to get 3 games they have to get minimum 10 and if they do it then they deserve the league fuck it like what do we <laughs> even do there no, no. All, all, all I'm saying is, is, no. All I'm saying, I think there is, there can be again. This is very offhand. I mean, I, I don't have any basis for it. So maybe against. Again, I don't know. Like I said, bro, like I said win all of our games, win against Bournemouth, win against Everton and beat Man United at Old Trafford, that's it. Fuck it, whatever happens, yeah. happens. It's not in your hands anymore. Just win, yeah. win. Three Ws and we see what happens. Yeah, I think we spoke about this after Aston Villa Port Neither remember and you were like, all we need is just win the rest of our games and we'll see. Because before the run-in, if you had given yeah. me, yeah, if before the run-in, if you have given me one loss out of Aston Villa, Tottenham and United, I would have taken it. So, I think today's win alleviates a lot of my worries and pain and everything from the season then we'll see what happens yeah me too I thought this was the hardest game of the season and it's left like whenever we spoke and it's done yeah